Hello and welcome to the Motorcycle Report. My name is Ryan, and if you're like me, you want to know all there is to know about the past, present, and future of the motorcycle world. And today I bought a new toy. It's a screen capture program, so I can record what I'm doing on screen. We're going to try it out for the first time. Hopefully it'll work well for me. Uh, I tried it once before and I didn't quite get what I wanted, but uh, we're going to give it another try here. So I'm going to start it up. All right, so you can see down the bottom right of the screen, I've got uh, the recorder time logged in. I've been recording for almost a minute now, trying to get this to the uh, Wikipedia page, list of motorcycle manufacturers. What I'd like to do is go through here and once or twice a week kind of go through and see, uh, take a look at motorcycle companies that are kind of, oh, less popular. Maybe some of us haven't heard of them. Maybe some of us have. But, you know, more than just the, the big name companies, more of the companies that are kind of maybe uh, more obscure. You can look through and see that I've already clicked on some of them. Uh, and... A lot of these will be, like in Indonesia, you have Honda Indonesia, Suzuki, Kawasaki, where they have uh, Honda and the other companies have the roots in these different uh, countries. And so, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for companies that I've never really heard of and that we can look at together. And I'm happy you're here with me to take a look and see what these companies are all about. Where do we want to go today? This is going to be the first in kind of a series of videos where I'll return to this page and get and click on just a random motorcycle company that's kind of obscure. I may visit the no longer in production, but for today, we're going to visit the ones that are still functioning. And uh, let's see. Well, I've done a report on Whizzer. That's a cute bike. Oh, I love it. And there's Zero, of course. They're electric bikes. And Rokon, they're for hunters and getting out and doing some trail bra braking. Let's look through here and see if there's a company that uh, might be kind of cool to look at. I won't go to Japan because we already know those guys. Um... Italy, Indonesia, India, Germany. On my last video, I, I tried to record. It didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. There was uh, Saks. Went and visited them. They have a lot of elect electrical scooters and bicycles. Really a nice site to go visit. You can use your translator. It's a German site. Some some neat little motor, motor, motorbikes, moped, electrical uh, motorbikes, electric bikes, so China, Belarus, Az Azerbaijan, not sure I pronounce that country, well, let's see, Hero Bangladesh, formerly Hero Honda, no, we don't want to do that, MMZ, is a brand of motorcycle, let's, yeah, Okay, so let's go to Belarus today to MMZ. Let's see what they're about. We'll go click on their web page. They've been around since 1951. All right. So now we need to translate it. There we go. And let's see what we got. Looky there. There's a shiny chrome engine. This is Belarus. Now, where is Belarus located? I'm not really sure. It must be... It looks like Russian handwriting. So, maybe not far from Russia. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So, okay, let's just click on... Up here we got M1NSK Minsk Moto. So, let's go to the classics and see what they got. I see the translator doing its thing. Looks like they got some 125s. They have pretty bikes. Pretty little motorcycles. Uh, 
200 cc yeah, that's kind of neat let's click on the 200 cc see what it looks like ooh nice I'm hoping in the future I can get rid of this rec this record thing. Maybe it's not showing up in the being recorded. I'm not sure. We'll have to I'll have to check it out. But anyway, back to the motorcycle. Yeah, that looks like a nice clean bike. You know, nothing fancy, but kind of fancy. Looks like fun times ahead. We got blue and we got red. Well, let me click on red. Can I click on red? No. So we're only get to see the blue one, I guess. All right. Come down here. It's liquid cooled, 200 cc, vertical one cylinder four stroke. Okay, 13.5 horsepower. Not a lot of horsepower, but who cares? Uh, electric starter. That's important. Kick starter if the electric isn't working. Vice versa. Uh, number five gears. Telescopic front fork. Looks like some good stuff there. Maximum speed 110 kilometers per hour. I'm going to have to get my kilometers and miles uh, figured out because I'm not sure exactly what that means. I'm sure that miles per hour is going to be less. It'll probably be like, you know, maybe 80, 70, maybe 60. I'm not sure. But certainly not 110 miles an hour. I don't see that happening. Dry weight in kilograms is 120. I don't know what the pounds is, but not a real heavy bike, I'll bet. Tank capacity in liters is 11. And I don't know liters to gallon either, so... <laughs> is your guess as good as mine here. But, uh, you know, I'll get you where you're going. Let's go look at some other bikes. Alright, so this black one looks kind of interesting. Like an off-road type of a deal. Ah, I like the little uh, light guard here. You have a nice engine. I don't know. I'd like to see uh, the exhaust up a little bit higher, maybe more like a, a scrambler. If you're going to have a high, you know, fender like that to keep the dirt off you, maybe you're going to be in dirty roads, so you need to bring that up here, maybe put a little bit of a cage down here to protect all of this but it still looks like a nice fun little bike so look down here uh, four gears for this guy on the uh, 125 instead of the 200 and all right these guys are going to be let's look at the about the company and see what they're all about check it out all right Minsk Minsk motorcycles are rapidly gaining popularity both in the USSR and in foreign markets their deliveries were made in 45 countries of the world and the total amount exceeded 6.5 million so there's a good chance that some of you watching this may have heard of them or maybe even have one of their bikes yeah Special equipment, moped, scooters, classic, enduro. Let's go to enduro and see what we got there. Ooh. Oh, hey. That looks fancy. Looks like an adventure bike. All right. See, it says Minsk on the, on the engine. Different colors to choose from. I wish I could just click on the colors, though. It doesn't seem like I can do that. I don't think I can do that. I wonder if I can... Do I slide it over? No. So I'm not sure how to pick the colors. Maybe they just don't have them displayed here. Alright, scrolling down. The displacement's 250. Why don't they call it a 250cc? I guess the 300i might be more marketable. I'm not sure. One cylinder. Okay. Horsepower is 26. That's a little bit better, but certainly less than... A lot of others out there. Number of gears is six. Lots, lots of gears. It's a four-stroke. And yeah, electromechanical dashboard. All right. 
So, it's like a nice uh, disc there. It's like a chain drive. We've got some, uh, some stock uh, luggage carriers. Let's back up one. Then you have the 200 and the 250 looks like uh, dirt, some dirt bikes. I'll take a look at this guy real quick here. Ah, see that's what I'm talking about. You got to have that distance if you're going to go on dirt. You got to put the exhaust. See that that's the bike for really going out and doing jumps and stuff. All right, let's move on to straight bikes. Ooh, they've got a uh, got a crotch rocket, right? Uh, 250. Run down here. One cylinder. Looks like they've just got one cylinder bikes. Does have uh, 26 horsepower. Not not a lot, but uh, you know it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you where you need to go. Two seats. You can take somebody with you right here. All right. Minsk. Let's back up. But yeah, it doesn't look like we've got any of the bigger engines going on here. Not sure why. There's maybe some engine restrictions in different areas. I don't know. So let's look real quick here at scooters. Just one to look at. Yeah, it's pretty blue color. I'll get you off to the, get you down to the little coffee shop down the street. 50 cc. All right. All right cute little guy and let's go off to the mopeds don't see any mopeds none I guess they don't have any right now let's look at special equipment real quick uh, scrolling down yeah just must have kicked us out to the main page again so we'll scroll down there and see uh, what they got going on there is a it looks like a documentary on the site. Can we watch it? Looks like yeah, this will take us to YouTube. So if you wanted to watch it, oh, I'll go ahead and I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll post this uh, in the description on my video that I'm making right now. So you can just go down to the description and click on it. I'm not gonna click on it right now, but you can go check it out for yourself. I'm not sure what it's gonna show but uh maybe some of their history i guess they've been around for quite a while what was it 1958 or something like that so all right so dealers news about the company contact and community let's look at the community real quick so yeah they're on uh facebook and twitter and looking for talents we're looking for talented promising energetic probably employees right Wikipedia, we just came from there, and YouTube, they've got their own YouTube uh, sites. So I'll uh, put this link in the description as well. All right, so uh, yeah, just trying out my new t little toy here. I think that's about all we need to look at for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and click the subscribe button, and I'll uh, set you up with some more videos similar to it. We can kind of go look at the different obscure motorcycle companies throughout the world together on top of all the other stuff I'm doing. And so anyway, uh, thanks for joining me and I will talk to you soon.